What is up everyone and we are back with another guide about PSO2 New Genesis. Today we're going to be talking about frames per second and how to make it appear while you're playing. FPS means how many images appear on your screen per second. The higher the frames per second, the better your video will be. With the intense graphics demand of New Genesis and the confusion with simple graphics settings and recommendations, some people like myself are pushed to graphics settings that their card can't handle. Then if you try to change the graphic settings, you don't know how much that change will affect your gameplay. And that is where having frames per second or FPS appear on your screen can help you troubleshoot what graphic settings affect your graphics card the most and which ones to tone down in order to get the best video quality for you. This is done with Xbox Game Bar or MSI Afterburner. First is Xbox Game Bar and this is the easiest way but offers less monitoring stats compared to MSI Afterburner and it can be annoying to deal with as the menu is always up. So if I go and try to minimize something, like a window screen, I have to go back into the Xbox Game Bar and then close it again. But if you're still interested in that, to enable it, go to your Xbox Game Bar or press Windows plus G. Here click on the performance and then click on FPS and that's it. The next option is MSI Afterburner and that's the one I use. MSI Afterburner is a third party program that has the ability to overclock your graphics card to push it to new heights by increasing your frames per second. Overclocking is like putting a supercharger on your car. It can work good if you set it correctly, but if you push too much boost, your engine could explode, so you should overclock at your own risk. But what we are interested in the MSI Afterburner is showing your frames per second in order to increase and decrease certain graphic settings in order to get the best video gameplay quality. First, you have to install MSI Afterburner, which is linked in the description down below. When you install MSI Afterburner, there is an option to install Riva Tuner Statistics. You need to install this for it to work. This is a program that interacts with MSI Afterburner in order to show your frames per second in game. After you install it and load MSI Afterburner, go to the settings and click on monitoring. In the active hardware monitoring graphics area, you have a plethora of statistics you can select from and show in game. For me, I put my graphics card temperature, usage, video memory, or VRAM, and frames per second. These help me the most because graphics card temperature is vital in knowing if your card is going to crash or not. Different graphics cards have different operating temperatures, so be sure to check out your graphics card temperature range. GPU usage should always be in the high 90 to 100% range. If it is not, then you need to troubleshoot. Then there's frames per second. Here we see how many frames or images we get per second. The higher the number, the smoother the gameplay will be. FPS is limited by your graphics card settings, V-Sync, G-Sync, and your monitor's ability. A good FPS to aim for is 50+. My monitor has G-Sync that allows my frames to look better even though I have low frame rate. But for most people, 50 is a good start. On top of that, my frames per second drops due to my recording so these are not my exact settings. If you aren't hitting that 50 FPS and want better frames, you should try toning down your graphics setting. Some of the settings that I've removed is Bloom and Blur, and that helped my FPS greatly, so give those a shot and see how much that improves your FPS, and then continue from there. I can't tell you what exact settings are best for you because different graphics cards have different strengths and weaknesses. Some are better at illumination in-game and others are better with small details. So try your best to increase or decrease your settings and use your frames per second as a gauge to get the best video quality. In order to show your FPS in game, you need to select the check mark next to frame rate and then look below this area and ensure the box is checked next to show in on display and then press apply. If you want to put certain settings together like mine is, just rename the group name to the same name and it will appear exactly like mine is. Next go to the on screen display tab and if you want some hotkeys to toggle this on and off, this is where you can do so. After all your settings are set, just press apply and ok. Then go back into your game and your FPS and any other monitoring settings you selected should appear. And that's it for this video, I really hope this video helped you out and if it did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for tuning in and listening and until next time.